Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bear Threads channel. Um, so this is a plan with me for the month of February, both the monthly spread and also I'm going to do the weeklies as well. And this is just how I'm going to be doing it in 2024, uh, kind of a month at a time. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. I am using my mini happy planner, um, which I did a flip through of the full planner um, a while back. Um, and I've switched to the mini, and I've also switched to this. And is it the da is it the? It's not a dashboard layout. It's a vertical. No, it's a horizontal, not vertical. I don't know. It's a different orientation to what I had before. And um, I realised I just didn't actually have that many plans that required so much space. And these ones are also a little bit cheaper. Um, and so I just decided to to drop down to the smaller size. Anyway, so I am just going to be doing like the stickers for a whole month at a time because my stickering is going to be a bit lighter. So I did January already and I forgot to film it, um, obviously. So I did mean to film it, but I forgot. And so I just had a few stickers dotted around um, on each uh, week um, and loads of white space and stuff. And I don't know, I think that'll just work. So February um, has this be grounded in the experience of the present moment with some like parrots and toucans and like birds and stuff. Um, it's kind of the wild style design. The stickers I've got that I'm planning to work with are half of this page from the Ginger Cat Company, which I cannot remember what it's called, but it has like red, strawberry, kawaii or cute like food that seems to have like a perhaps Japanese influence. Um, this Huga sticker sheet from Barista Shop. I really like this Barista Shop, their designs actually. This is also from Etsy, they're both, bought both from Etsy. And I also think these like reds and pinks and purples will lend itself quite nicely to February, which I don't know is a romantic month because of Valentine's Day, I don't know. I also have these succulent stickers, which are a bit random. Oh, I only have one page of those. So I may use those for one of the weeks. I do have these funny little cat things called uh, Katie's Life Sticker. Um, so it's designed by Art Korea. I'm pretty sure I got these from Etsy as well, but they are presumably a Korean brand. Um, and I did use them in January already. They're a bit like miscellaneous when you don't know what stickers to use. I can use these, but they're a little bit small. So in the classic planner they always looked a bit weird but I think in the mini one they might work better and then I have this simply lovely um, Mambi happy planner sticker book um, a lot of these have kind of been used but there are some left some of these just won't fit now because they're like the full box size for the classic sized planner um, but there are some but I don't know I don't really like a lot of these like word ones and I don't know if these will really work to be honest but all the roses and stuff, and the hearts and the kind of ribbons. Oh, there are some more ribbons, bows. A lot of them are kind of gone. Um, these circles and smaller ones, they might work, we'll see. I think for the monthly spread, I'm gonna use these funny, like strawberry dessert stickers. And then I think I'll also try and use these Hugo ones because they're quite nice and they can probably work on like two or even three weeks. Although that might be a bit repetitive, that's the only thing. Um, and then it'd be nice to use up these succulent stickers which my mum bought for my boyfriend because he likes plants but he doesn't like stickers so <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one. Anyway, um, right, so I'm going to do the monthly spread with these strawberry ones first. We don't have any real plans for February. There's Valentine's Day and there's also Pancake Day, which is actually going to be the day before, it looks like, Valentine's Day. Um, all these other little holidays that are marked in, they're all American ones. Or oh, that Lunar Uni New Year, I guess, is Chinese. But um, nothing that we really celebrate. We are probably going to be taking a trip to see my friend's parents in February and possibly going to the aquarium, but we might also do that in January instead. So at the moment, I don't have plans, but I want to keep the weekends kind of open in case that changes. Anyway, I'll, um, I'll stop waffling and do some stickering. Mm. 
So that is the February monthly spread and that is like literally I think all I'm going to do so I just left lots of white space to add in any plans that we have. One thing about these stickers that I remember from the last time I used them is that they're quite repetitive. So this one here, this like cake with the kind of green kind of cat face on it, like I've got three of those left on the sticker sheet and I feel like I had more that I've already used up. So it ends up being a bit repetitive if you use too many of them you end up with the same sticker basically over and over again. So um, I tried to just use different ones. I've used this like mini version of this big one. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I'm gonna leave it and I kind of like that uh, look. So I'm gonna move on to the first week of Feb. It's kind of the end of January and into February. And I'm gonna use these Huga, that's how you say it, um, sticker sheet. Um, yeah, you know, because I'm, I'm gonna be playing my my mandolin or lute or whatever that is and my cello and oh is that guitar um it's exactly how i live this this is how I, candles everything knitting everything Okay, so that is the first week of February. Again, quite light on the stickers. Um, so I've left plenty on the sheet. A couple of them did rip. So like this one here has lost its stick on that little bit of the knitting needle, which is a bit annoying. And this one I struggled to get out completely. I can't remember if that was a, a problem I had with her other sticker sheets or their other sticker sheets. So it might be, uh, it is a problem with like how they're doing their stickers. Um, or it could just be this one sticker sheet. I can't actually remember, but um, I think it looks quite cute. So I'm going to do the second page and I think I'm going to switch it up to these succulent stickers and just try and use all of them to be honest. Maybe not I'll never desert you, desert you. Um, I don't know, they're so glittery, That's what, it really puts me off. I think I've left all the glittery ones till last. Um, yeah, I think I'll try and use these up on this page and then maybe use some more of like the red ones because the following week will be Valentine's week so having the red back on Valentine's might look kind of nice um okay That is the succulent and cactus week. Um, I think I used maybe slightly more stickers than the previous week, maybe, but it was just the ones that were left on the sheet. I did leave, um, you had me at aloe and I'll never desert you. <laughs> the puns, I do like puns. I just, I don't know that I love having text stickers in my planner actually. There's beauty and everything seemed fine and I put that in the important section. Um, so moving on to the next week which is Valentine's week and also it'll be pancake day on the Tuesday so that is something that I can put in my task list to make sure or actually probably put it into this week's task list to make sure that I order the food we need that the ingredients we need to make pancakes but uh, for now I'll just focus on putting stickers on I think I'm going to try and use all these stickers because if I leave any left it's just going to be a really odd number, like one or two, and I end up with like loads of sticker sheets that have one or two stickers on, it's really irritating. So I'll try and use them all up, it'll be a bit repetitive because I've got three the same of that one, and then two the same of that one, but I'll try and spread them out a bit, um, so it doesn't hopefully look too weird. So that is Valentine's week, there's an annoying fly, go away, shoo. Uh, that is Valentine's week and then also I have these ones that look like pancakes. <laughs> pancakes with weird little green creatures living on them but let's ignore that. Um, I put on pancake day and then I look this one that looked most like a heart, um, this cute kind of cup of tea or some kind of drink I put on Valentine's day. Um, so yeah, I mean, that looks kind of cute. Uh, probably I wouldn't have put these so close together like at that level if I'd thought it through a bit more I would have maybe moved that one down but at the time I was just trying to spread these ones out 
as far as possible. We are kind of close together, but I think it looks okay. Um, so the there are two more weeks in February. Uh, this one goes on to March, but uh, for this one, I think I'll do maybe my um, Hugo stickers again. See how many I have left. It's a bit of an awkward number, but I could probably use half of these and then save the other half for like March or another, even like you know November, December, or something later on in the year. Um, and then maybe for the last week, I'll use these weird little cat ones. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's the final two weeks of February. So I did my hookah stickers here and I did like five. I left six um, on there, so as close to half as I could get really. Um, the, these ones are not straight. It went very wonky, but um, you know, I don't think I can pick it up without it ripping. So we're just stuck with that now. Um, and then the following week, I did these funny little cat people. I did the one with like, looks like money surrounding it on payday and the rest of them don't make any sense. I mean this one looks like the cat is stuck in a pizza oven. I don't quite know what this is. But it's a kind of a funny sheet so there are a few stickers left on it. There's this one that says love punch which I did almost use but I found it's a bit, I'm, I'm a bit confused by it. This one where it looks like the cat's getting a, a vaccination or an injection which actually would have been useful for this January because we've had so many doctor's appointments and blood tests and things recently and this one where the cat's been weighed which I thought is a bit of a weird one as well um, apart from that all these are the little faces they're not actually stickers they are on sticky paper so you could uh, or, or like sticky plastic vinyl whatever it is um, so you could cut them out yourself but they're just they're just printed on so it's a you don't get as many stickers as you think you're getting it's an because I kind of want you to use this little dude with the question mark. Anyway, I can't be bothered to cut them out. I might just leave the sticker sheet and then um, at a later date, if I want to, I can come back and cut those out rather than just throwing it in the bin. But that is February. So we've got the <laughs> the wild birds and then, we've <laughs> then we switch over to kind of cute red strawberry themed cakes and stuff. Then some like hygge, warm, cozy, snuggly winter stuff and also a guitar, possibly a cello. Then we go on to sparkly cactuses and succulents. Then we go back to our cakes, Japanese kind of inspired, and then we've gone on to our hygge, kind of Scandinavian. And then we go on to our Korean cats. So it's kind of, we're going through a few different countries and a few different vibes. Um, <laughs> winter is just a hard one to um, stick apart, I think, personally. Um, anyway. That is February, so let me know what you think in the comments. Do please subscribe and like um, if you have enjoyed the video. I do uh, planning videos, but also sewing and book related videos. And I will see you next time.